This is a video about the Lully light bulb and planned obsolescence. You know, back when manufacturing was, had far more integrity in this country, light bulbs were built to last. Actually, light bulbs were just built. And then after a while, somebody got the idea, hey, if we built crappy light bulbs, they wouldn't last as long and people would have to buy hundreds more just because they didn't last long. So this light bulb has been designed to fail after a thousand hours or less when they used to be able to last years. I have one such light bulb. This light bulb was given to me by my father-in-law and I've got it all wrapped up in this can so that it will <laughs> not break. But this light bulb is over a hundred years old and is perfectly good as you will see Ta -da. and you can't really tell on video but the light from this is very mellow very nice very pretty there you go very nice filaments and this light bulb would last for a hundred years burning there's a light bulb just like this one burning in a firehouse somewhere in the Midwest that's been burning continuously for a hundred years hasn't burned out probably because it won't the filament in there was formulated to last the filament in this thing is designed to burn out in a thousand hours or less. It's designed to last for a thousand hours of continuous use if you just left it on all the time and then the filament would give way. This one won't. I would leave it plugged in. Um, I'm just worried that uh, it would burn out. Or not burn out, but get hit by something and break and be lost. So that's why I have it in this container. Although, you know, it just seems kind of a shame for me to be saving it in here rather than using it as a testament to its durability. So I'll figure out exactly what I want to do with this. But, you know... A hundred year old bulb that would last forever, just about. That would, if I were to use that light bulb, it would outlast my mortgage, my life here, my kids' life here in my house. This thing would still be burning if it were just left on. So, just a commentary on the state of manufacturing today. And the whole philosophy behind, uh, well, manufacturing and planned obsolescence and where we've come today. People don't build stuff to last because something that's durable and dependable doesn't make the manufacturer money anymore. What makes the manufacturer money, or the shareholders money, is when the shit they make breaks and consumers have to go out and buy more. So, here's proof in my hand that manufacturing used to mean something more than make a quick buck. So, there it is.